So we're gonna talk about 50 cal and what happened. Somebody put a comment up on the YouTube channel about Mike being back, brings you back to the times of like when 50 cal failed and stuff like that. So let's talk about what, in my opinion, what killed 50 cal. And it kind of pissed me off because I genuinely like 50 cal paintball. Um, I'm holding here, this is the Kingman Rapid, which in my opinion was probably the best 50 cal loader. Um, you take this, take a VL200 or a standard loader, cut the feed neck and put it around this and put it on a Planet Eclipse gun. You got a really good shooting 50 cal gun. Um, so this is the Kingman Rapid. I think I've got, yeah, I actually have a 50 cal barrel swab in here and shit. So, so what killed 50 cal? First thing was, it was funny, the manufacturers all came out at the same exact time with their own 50 cal products and none of it was fucking standardized. <laughs> none of it. Okay, everybody had different feed necks, different, um, Barrel threads, um, nothing was standardized, okay? You, know, you had four different companies, like, I think at the time it was about four different companies that came out with uh, 50 cal products. It was G.I. Milsim, who seemed to be the hardest one pushing it. Uh, Kingman, uh, Planet Eclipse had a conversion kit for their Egos, which was actually one of my favorite ones, because it was cheap, it was only like 100 bucks, and you could pop it on an Ego, and then you could take this Kingman Rapid, and um, you know, take the Kingman, or take this little, um, this Rapid loader and put it right on top of it with the, with the uh, shim on the outside of it. Um, who's the last one? Um, let's see, uh, GI Milson, Planet Eclipse, uh, Smart Parts, or GOG, and then came, I think that was pretty much about it. But the first thing that killed it was none of it was standardized. <laughs> Nothing. So <laughs> everything was completely, completely different. So every manufacturer had their own uh, barrel threads, and, and, and nobody had a loader except for the Rapid, and just nothing was standardized across the board. I, I don't understand why this sport, as, as tiny as it is, as minuscule as it is in regards to other activities, hobbies, sports, and shit like that that people do, why these manufacturers are at each other's fucking throats in this industry. But they are. They, they really are. I, I haven't seen it in any other hobby or sport or activity or anything that I do. You don't see mountain bike manufacturers suing each other like crazy. You don't see... Um, RC car manufacturers suing each other. Like, it just doesn't, I don't, I don't know what it is. But anyway, all four manufacturers, all the major manufacturers all came out with their own standards across it. So every manufacturer came out and said, you know what we're going to use? Our own proprietary feet loader, our own proprietary barrel, and nothing was standardized. So that was the first thing that failed. So if you bought this loader, it didn't fit on that gun or it didn't fit on that gun or it just, that, that was the first thing that, that killed 50 cal. The second thing was the marketing. They fucking destroyed the marketing, okay? They they tried to go out and try to say that 50 cal was going to be, you know, that it had longer range and, and uh, just everything about it was the marketing was just wrong. I felt like they were shoving it down the player's throats as opposed to propose, uh, proposing it as an alternative. Should have proposed it as an alternative. They should have proposed it and said, okay, you know what? If you're going to play, if you're going to be a beginner player, this is less impact, okay? If you're going to be a scenario player or a woods ball player, you can carry more capacity um, you know, while you're out there on the field for suppressive fire, which is what I personally love 50 cal for. If you're going to be a, a, um, if you're going to be a, uh, uh, like a speedball player or a tournament player, you can carry less. Your loader is smaller. You lose range about 30 to 50 feet in range, but you're also going out there with like one pod or maybe two tops and your loader is half the size of anything else. So you're a smaller target. So they should have, they should have come out and, and proposed it that way, but instead they just they they just I don't know they they just pissed off so many players. And what was it the the World Cup that they brought it out on? I think GI Milson was out there doing it. And they were showing the range of it. People were like wow, it really is further. But I think it was I think it was Jack Rice of Alien Paypal actually went out there with a chronograph and chronoed the gun that they were using at World Cup, and it was shooting like three thirty. So that that got leaked out, and obviously that blew a lot of holes in the marketing. So. That was um, that was definitely funny, but I mean, I, I definitely think that had they had the manufacturers all gotten together and standardized it, which unfortunately with this industry they're just not going to ever do, and had they thought about the marketing a little bit more and pitched it for what it was, which is you know less impact but less range, but more capacity, but lighter weight, and pitched it as an alternative, it definitely would have taken off. I. I personally love 50 cal. Like I loved it in airball. I loved it in the woods. I loved it for new players. I thought it was definitely an amazing idea. <laughs> God damn, they fucking destroyed 
the uh, the marketing on it. I mean, they genuinely, genuinely destroyed the marketing on it, and 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 not standardizing it was was definitely its fall. So I mean, you see it now. Like now, it's kind of being marketed just straight to beginner players. But I definitely think the 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 other players that the the seasoned players would have definitely picked it up had it just been explained to them in that way. But I mean, that pissed me off. I, mean, <laughs> I really like 50 Cal. I think 50 Cal's fun in rec ball. I think it could have worked in tournaments. I think it could have worked in, in woods ball had it been realistically presented. But that's my rant. It sucks. And I, I think I decided to put this up because this is my probably one of my last 50 Cal products. I, I put this loader up on eBay. So I think that's the last 50 Cal thing I owned. But I kind of pissed me off because I really liked 50 Cal. And I, I loved using it. But oh, well, good riddance, I guess.